All right, all right, all right. Today we are going to go over a spodge question, which I haven't done spodge in a long time. And the reason why is because, I don't know, I just don't like reading the problems. The problem statements are too long, but I'll, I'll get over that sooner or later. But yeah, we're going to go over the next spodge question. I think it was... Uh, it's actually 1.30 a.m. right now. And I am going to go over the spodge question before I go to bed and take a shower and go to bed. And uh, da, 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 why, why is this taking so long? Booyah, okay, hold up. This shouldn't be taking this long. Okay, alright. Okay, so... I think we're gonna go over all ibophobia. Okay, so this was a DP question. All right, so he's, this guy suffers from ibophobia, so he's like a fear of palindromes. So you have a string S, and you need to add characters to the string to make it a palindrome. So the characters could be added anywhere inside the string. So, um, so doctors took this very lightly and appended the reverse of S onto S, making a palindrome. So you got FFT, and they would just add the reverse of it. So nowadays, he's cured of the disease, but he still wants to continue the game by his rules. So now he asks the doctors to insert the minimum number of characters needed to make it a palindrome. So now help the doctors accomplish this task. So we have FFT, and the doctors change it to TFFT, adding only one character. Okay. All right, I'm just going to explain the solution. Um, it requires a the uh, a similar problem called longest uh, palindrome subsequence. And uh, yeah, I'll just explain the solution because I actually don't remember doing this. Okay, all right. Um, so first of all, there's, a, there's something called longest contiguous, uh, uh, longest contiguous uh, subsequence, I believe. Yeah, yeah, hold up. Um, let me just go back over real quick. So there's something called a uh, longest, uh, yeah, longest palindrome subsequence. Longest palindrome subsequence, which is basically the algorithm that you need to solve this question. So what did I do first? First I took read in the string S, and then I reversed the string of this S. And then I called this reverse string, string that I just reversed, into this longest uh, common subsequence for palindrome. And then I subtracted the number of characters, the length of our string by the longest contiguous palindromes. So then it would get me the, the minimum number of the minimum number of characters needed to add because this this will return the longest common subsequence and um to do this um this is a two-dimensional dp so here i created an array to that has a two-dimensional dp and what i'm doing is i'm just going to loop through basically i'm looping through through the two-dimensional dp okay um if this part is if the if we're both at the end of the string, right? At both of the end of the string, then the common subsequence for the both of them is zero, right? Because this means that both of the string is empty, right? So I represents like the current index at the first string, and uh, J represents the index of the second string. So if both of them are like at the end of the string or the beginning, right? Um, they're they're basically zero because they're not. There's no common, right? There's no common sequence for it. Okay. Okay. Now this is a, a little tricky part. So now if the last character of what you're pointing at for both of these strings are the same, right? So let's say I'm at the last character and they're both the same. 
Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just increase one because uh, that means that I'm increasing one as the same common character, right? So the remember, I'm, I'm getting the longest common subsequence and I'm just increasing one for the same character. That's essentially what I'm doing. So here, our ij is going to equal to the previous count of the previous uh, previous count for the number of characters that are the same at the previous uh, indexes of the both of the two strings, right? So i represents. Remember, i represents the index we're going through of the first string, and j represents the index of the character of the second string. So if they're both the same, then we're just going to increment one to uh, to the previous number of characters at both of them. Otherwise, what we're going to do is we're just going to take the maximum of the previous characters that we got prior to it. So r at i minus 1 and j represents comparing the same number of characters of the previous of the previous index to all the values of the, of j right of the previous um characters that are similar with uh, j and i minus one and then the r at i j minus one represents comparing all of the the previous longest common uh the previous common number of characters that are the same of j to uh, uh, of i to j minus one, so all the values prior to it, right? And I don't have like a, I don't really have a uh, way to write this down. So I hope you guys could understand. Like I don't have a touchpad right now, but like if we have like I don't know z, uh, I don't know like uh, what was it t f F T or something. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let's uh, uh, let's actually look at the sample case. So like, if you go back and you look at yeah F F T. So let's say we had like F F T. F F T. Right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pass this into my longest common subsequence, longest uh, number co uh, co common subsequence, and I'm going to reverse it. So I'm going to reverse this string, so it's now T F F, and I'm going to find the common subsequence from both of these. Okay. The, the length of it, and then I'm going to subtract n minus it. Okay, so in in this in this first code, the first case where i is equal to j, zero and j is equal to zero. So what this means is like if this if this is the pointer that i starts, right, and this is the pointer that j starts. We're just going to go through both of them. Right, this is the i and the j. Um, if we reach zero or the end of the string where it's either it's empty, right? So if i is like uh, empty, like way past over here, right? Then the common sequence. So if i and j, i or j is like empty, so right down here. Like let's say j reaches here, right? It's going to be no matter what, it's going to be zero. Because it's not common, right? So that's what that case represents. Um, this part represents if one of the characters are the same. So like, if 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 we get to the part where uh, let's say J goes to here, like J goes to F, right? And they're the same characters. Then I'm going to take the previous uh, number of characters that are the same from both of them that I stored in my array table, 
I'm just going to add one because that means that this F is the same as this F. Otherwise, I'm just going to take whatever the previous number of characters that are the same from the previous and get the maximum of the previous of I minus one and then J minus one. And the reason why for that is um, if we stored the previous number of characters that are the same, so let's say right here, this is like I, and this one is, uh, I don't know, this one's J. So let's say we counted like, I don't know, two characters are the same, some uh, along the same from here to here, right? Well, if we're comparing this, this current character with all the values of the previous one, with J, in order to get the maximum of the longest common subsequence, the number of characters are the same. Um, we have to compare like all the previous characters from here, compare it with uh, the current J, right? So if we're storing each of these and we're already keeping track of each count, we have to store like the previous values, the previous values that we did, that we kept track of it in our array with the current J of the current character that we're on for the second string. And then, so that's where we have to get the maximum, right? And for the second one, it's basically the same thing. We're comparing like all this, the characters that we counted before that we stored in our array, all the values pre prior to it, to the i minus one. So like all the values prior to it compared to this. So then we get the maximum of both of them. So that's what this is for. So after we store all those values, uh, we just return it the end result there. And then if once you return the end result, you're gonna get the count. You get the values that longest common subsequence that, uh, common subsequence for the characters that are the same and you subtract them. So yeah, that's basically the gist of this problem. It's really late. Uh, I'm sorry if, if I sound like I'm rambling, but uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Maybe I'll do more spodge, but yeah, peace.